Thank you, Will Haskett, and I'm down here with Christo Lamprecht of Team South Africa. Uh, Christo, uh, 68 today, seven shots better than yesterday. What was the difference out there today? I mean, uh, today I had a little bit more in front of me today uh, on the golf course. I kind of got it under control. Uh, yesterday I lost a couple of shots out there and hit some very RNT shots. Uh, so, it's, yeah, today, I mean, I just kept it in front of me and really potted and chipped it a lot, like, a lot better than the last two days. You and Kieran had an excellent day out there, a combined seven under today. How nice is it to finish that way as a team? Yeah, it was really nice to play together well together um, and kind of just finish strong and finish hard and just kind of ending the week on a good note. So, yeah, it was really great. Thank you, Christo. Best of luck the rest of the way this fall. Uh, back to you, Will Haskett. Thank you, Will. And I'm down here with Isabel Fierro of Team Mexico, who shot a three under 69 and looking very good for a medal. Isabel, you started the day three over through two holes. How are you able to refocus and post a good score? Um, I think the key was just staying patient. And like I said yesterday, just keep a smile on my face. Um, it's golf and that can happen. You can have a rough start or you can go vice versa. So just keeping the positive attitude, what's, um, what's kept me like from having a good round today. You played the back nine at 10 under this week with no bogeys. What about the closing stretch here at Whispering Pines suits your game so well? Um, well, yeah, the back nine likes me. Um, I think it was just having that positive attitude and just focusing one shot at a time. Uh, and I, all, I just told to myself, there's so many things to be grateful about rather than just focusing on the bat shots or bat holes that I had. So I was just looking forward and I was just very excited. And we played with two of the Argentina girls, which we know each other very well. So it was just a blast over there. Thank you, Isabel. Best of luck the rest of the year. And back to you, Will Haskett. Thank you. Thanks, Will, and I'm down here with Hugo Townsend of Team Sweden, who shot th a three under 69 and currently in a tie for second. Hugo, you stayed patient all week, opening with rounds of 73-70. What was the difference today that earned you a round in the 60s and a chance to medal in this golf tournament? I think just, as you said, just being patient. I was I was really good off the tee all week and just struggling a little bit with my putting. But uh, today, I, I, just, I was just trying to, you know, keep on – putting myself, giving me chances. They were not going in, but I, I hold it, two or three nice ones coming in, which was nice, so it was, it, was, it was good. You and teammate Alvin Bergstrom really played well together as a group today. Were you able to feed off each other? Yeah, we, we try to. You know, I've known Alvin for so long. We're, we're good friends, so it's, it's always fun to play with a, a good friend like that. And when we make birdies, we try to hype each other up. So, you know, it was, it, it was a good back nine. We, need, we needed a good little charge, so it was fun out there. Your father, Peter, was a member of a European Ryder Cup team, and now you're turning into quite the countryman yourself. How special is it going to be to share this moment with them? It'll be fun. I'll, I'll give them a little FaceTime maybe tomorrow or something, but, I mean, they haven't seen me play competitive golf in a long time, so, I mean, it would have been great fun for them to be here and watch me, but I'm used to it by now. Thank you, Hugo. Best of luck the rest of the year, and back to you, Will Haskett. Thank you. Thanks, Will. And I'm down here with Sam Bennett of Team USA, who shot a three under 69, an individual medalist in the 2021 Spirit. Sam, congratulations. You started the day getting hit with a very unfortunate two-shot penalty with the club of Rachel Heck finding its way in your bag. How are you able to move on from that and focus on getting back in this golf tournament? Yeah, you know, that was un unfortunate, but uh, I was just happy she was able to tee off with her club because it's kind of club you need out here but uh you know after that happened I just told myself uh just get it back to even through five and uh was able to birdie two the par five and five the par five and I mean I've won plenty of time so you know I knew what knew I just needed to stay patient and the golfing guys would help me out we talked yesterday and you said it was all about being in contention once you got to the back nine today and that's exactly what you did what was the key to your three-hole birdie run to open the back nine here at Whispering Ponds uh yeah I don't know the you know, I hit some good shots and made some putts, and then I uh, had a good look on 13, good look on 14 too. Could have, could have got pretty crazy there. But uh, like you said, it was nice to, you know, I think I was one back going in the back nine. I think uh, Pagden made a six on nine, so he kind of let us back in there. Then it was game on from there. How special is it to come away victorious for the United States just down the road from your hometown of Madisonville with your family and friends here this week? Yeah, that was awesome. You know, uh, not too often family and friends and uh, get to come out because 
our college schedule. We play all across the United States. So uh, it was cool to, you know, be able to come out on top with USA and in the individual title with uh, everybody being able to watch. Sam, you finished the fall fall season number one in the PGA Tour University rankings, and this is a great cherry on top. Tell us about some of the starts you will be getting on the PGA Tour the next couple of months. Yeah, I get to, uh, well, hopefully it's not official. I get to go to Dubai in and, and late January. Uh, that'll be pretty cool. Now I guess that ranking system ends on the November 17th, so I don't think there's any more tournaments, so hopefully I'll stay atop of that. And then uh, that's in January, and then in uh, Late March, I get to go to Bay Hill to compete at the Arnold Palmer Invitational. So, you know, I get to miss, I have to miss Cabo for that, but what can you say? Congratulations to individual medalists of the 2021 Spirit, Sam Bennett, and back to you, Will Haskett. Thank you. Thanks, Will, and I'm down here with Rose Zhang of Team USA, who shot a bogey-free 69 today, an individual women's champion of the 2021 Spirit. Rose, congratulations. You won three events to start your career at Stanford, and now you finish the fall with a national amateur championship here at the Spirit. How special was it to get a win here this week at Whispering Pines? It was so special. When I first uh, got invited to this event, I didn't expect how amazing it would be, especially representing the United States this, uh, this time. It was just such a blessing, and um, this win really meant a lot to me. Um, I'm really glad that I got to play alongside my teammate, uh, Rachel Heck, and glad I played with uh, Sam and James all the same. <laughs> Teammate Rachel Heck had a rough start to the week and rallied back today to help y'all earn the combined women's medal. Did you feel the momentum shift towards the U.S. when Rachel started playing well? Definitely. I mean, I never um, expected, I didn't expect anything out of her. I feel like she always has um, her game going, and even when she isn't playing the best, she's still the best person to be around, and um, it was just amazing. We both shared so many moments out on the golf course. We had our own handshake, and it was just all good vibes, uh, and, you know, it's just great to be alongside her. Three rounds in the 60s here at Whispering Pines this week. The only player to do so. What about this golf course fit your eyes so well? Yes, this course definitely was very challenging, especially uh, hitting in on the greens. You really have to know where to be, uh, especially with the undulations and the collective areas. Um, the fairways were also very narrow. It was just precision all the way. And I was able to execute the shots I needed to, uh, which definitely helped me. And I just think everything went very smoothly. Congratulations to 2021 Spirit Individual Women's Champion Rose Zhang. And back to you, Will Haskett. Thank you. <laughs>